Got me out, it's just me and my gun to the end I'm the only one that lights up Really top story at the strip and we be right out I be outside, you know I'm finna slide out She hit some of the best dude, I be down, bro I'm not down, I been getting to the river when I stop and stand Suck you too I'm sorry I get copyrighted either You need to suck my dick I'm back, you too YouTube. I know it's been a long time since y'all seen my face on the camera. Um, as y'all can't tell, I'm a little, you know what I mean, under some type of sickness still, but I do feel way better now. So, I'm pushing out this content for y'all. And today, I have a story time, right? And this story time was probably one of the craziest ones. And I had to really think about it because this shit happened to me. When I was actually like a little ass kid, like I was around nine or eight years old when this happened to me. And this actually happened with my mom too, so this is the crazier part. But before we start this video and this story time, y'all like this shirt real quick? Hold on, let me, you know what I mean? What's nice? Hold on, let me turn it around real quick. Nice little, you know what I mean? You know I mean? I know y'all see the, you know I mean? Hold on. <laughs> I know y'all see the design on the back, you know what I'm saying? Go check out my good brothers at Goodfellas, you feel what I'm saying? This is not a sponsored video, they just showed me mad love. Um, Tell me the clothes is fire. They gonna have sweatsuits, they gonna have hoodies, shirts, hats. They gonna get you right. They gonna get you right. So I'm gonna leave the description down below and I'm gonna leave their page so you can check them out. Uh, yeah, so I was like around, let's, let's take this back to like 2014, 2015. And you're probably wondering, Damn. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. For the for the younger crowd, yeah, it was, but it really wasn't that long ago. Um and I remember this day very, very well, right? Because what really happened was really crazy. Um, my mom picked me up from school. Sorry about that. I had some little you know what I mean, little problems going on. But uh yeah, so this took place around that time. My mom picked me up, and she basically tr trying to rush to go home and stuff because she actually wanted to hurry up and get dinner cooked already. So I'm like, I'm my mate. I'm hungry as hell. Like, I don't give a fuck. Just hurry up. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, so she go buy me a little bag of hot Cheetos or whatever from the little 50 cent bag of hot Cheetos. I don't know if they're 50 cents anymore, but she like, here. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go in the kitchen. And I'm about to start cooking and that. Go, leave me alone. You feel what I'm saying? Boom, regular. If you're Hispanic or you're Caribbean, you know that when your uh, people is cooking, especially with like a lot of like seasonings and like cookings and shit like that, I don't know where you guys are from, but like where I'm from, they have like a tendency of leaving the door open or crack with something when they're cooking because the smoke and then all the seasonings and then the fire alarm, all types of crazy shit that you don't want to do. Basically, my mom left the door cracked open, and at the time, we were living in, like, a, like an apartment building. It was a big apartment building, too, but it wasn't the best apartment building, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not going to say names, or I'm not going to say which street or where, but just know this was here in Jersey, and this was in Atlantic City. So, you know what I'm saying? Just that, with that knowledge already being known, you should already know that you gotta be a little bit more aware just because you're just in Atlantic City. But, yo, this is pissing me off. All right, there we go. There we go. Now I'm out here, no, no crunchy sounds and shit, you know what I'm saying? But, since we live in Atlantic City, you do always have to be a little bit on edge because there's a lot of like crazy people and then maniac people and just like in this story time, I'm about to explain to you, right? Uh, my mom, she's cooking some type of chicken. And she has this big ass, like, kitchen knife, like, this big, like, blade, this big, balls. Like, she, bam, bam, bam. I'm like, where, where, where? Like, I'm hearing what's going on in the kitchen. I'm hearing the, the seasonings mixing. I'm hearing shit sizzling. I'm like, all right. Like, <laughs> we about to eat good. 
Why are we about to eat that? Saying we about to eat hella good, and I just remember um, my mom. She was just like, you know, what I mean, in a rush and shit. So she wasn't really too aware of her surroundings. But I remember I was right. I was in the living room, and I see this like, at the time he was like six foot. Yeah, like six foot. And he was a big boy. He was probably like 200, 300 pounds. And he walks past the crib first time. He looks right. So he's like already plotting and shit like who in here type like nigga come he, he do one of these basically. <laughs> one of those. And he see that it's just me and my mom in there. So this time coming around, he spin again. So he do it one more time but walk in the other direction. So I keep looking and I, and I told my mom, I'm like, Mom, like there's somebody walking past and that. She's like, what you talking about? Like that? What you what do you mean? I'm cooking and like that. Leave me alone. So she I don't know, whatever. So now I see this nigga walk past again. But this time he's a little bit more hesitant. And he's not really walking past by. He's really like slowly trying to come into the apartment. So now I'm distracted. My mom's distracted. And the nigga basically is trying to like creep up on us to try to either rob us or try to do something. I don't know what the hell he was trying to do, but he ain't do it. Because when I tell you, my mom was cutting to me, bam, bam, on the cutting board. And mind you, she has a 12 inch cooking chef blade that if you fuck around and try it, she's <laughs> limbless. Not gonna have no limbs. He gonna try it. It ended up coming in, right? And he basically gets like three steps in into the apartment. And when I tell you my mom fucking flipped. My mom flipped. When I tell you real life flipped. She. You would expect like you, you thought she was going to panic. You thought my mom was going to panic? Nah. She chased him out the crib and all the way down the hallway. She ain't called no security, no police, nothing. Had a 12-inch blade and chased that nigga all the way down. Nigga was so scared that he was jumping stairs. And you know what? You one of the most gangster part about that? She went back to cooking with the door open. Like, when I tell you, when this shit happened, I did not know how to react. Because I'm not going to lie. I'm a little boy. I was scared. Who the fuck is this nigga? I don't know. But when I see my mom stand on 10, and she chased a nigga with, with a knife, had him with little shit and breath. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? Sometimes you gotta think twice. Like, and that's the moral of the story. Like, be aware of your surroundings and just think twice before you do shit. Because everything you do really does have a consequence. And I'm, I be seeing these story times for shits and giggles. And I know y'all like seeing it. But I don't just be talking for no reason. So please, please, just everything y'all do has a consequence. But that being said, I'm out of here. I gotta edit. So yeah, I'm out. Like the video and subscribe. I'm out. Ah!